Hi, I am Revant. This is part 23 of Web Services video series. In this session, we will discuss sending and receiving multiple parameters to or from the web service using JavaScript Ajax. Important synopsis we will discuss in this video are call the service from JavaScript Ajax by HTTP POST request, create a web service with multiple parameters in the service method, create a client application to call the web service using JavaScript Ajax. So let's begin the tutorial. If you haven't watched the previous videos, I strongly recommend to watch before proceeding this video. In part 20, I have discussed testing web service using SOAP UI tool. In 21, I have discussed testing web service using Fiddler tool. And in part 22, I have discussed calling web service from JavaScript using Ajax. When we look at here, we have discussed in the previous video as a calling service from JavaScript Ajax by HTTP POST request. So this is a script we have written in the previous video as this is a JavaScript Ajax has the method we are using is POST method. This is a URL and the data we are passing has a parameter as a data type and the content type we are using as a J JSON for requesting the web service. Now in this video we will discuss how to send multiple parameters to the web service through the JavaScript Ajax. So let's flip to Visual Studio. This is my YouTube channel. Let's go to playlist and click on ASP.NET Web Services. and you can download the service code authentication in web service let's go to the description and you can download the code after downloading the code let's copy this project in the C drive inet pub in www root folder let's paste this open inet mgr using run window Let's uh, right click on the application, click on convert to application. Default app pool I'm using is .NET 4.0 version. Click on OK. So that will convert as an application. Now let's view in browser. So the service is working as expected. So this is a service method. Now let's create a client application. Let's open Visual Studio. As an administrator. Let's click on file open website click on authentication in web service click on o open button that will open the web service so we have used authentication user has the parameter for this service method hello world let's go to the definition so uh, we have created two properties as the one is username and the other is password now let's put a breakpoint here and let's open the client application so this is the application we have discussed in a part 22 calling the web service using javascript ajax if you haven't watched the, the previous video i strongly recommend to watch before proceeding this video 
so in this video we have passed a username and the password from the text box and calling the web service URL and passing the username and password now let's quickly run and check how the service will work now let's run the web service in debugging mode now the service is running let's pass username and the password let's click on valid user button so nothing is happening this is because we need to enable we need to enable the this access control allow origin in web.config I have discussed in detail in uh, the previous videos if you haven't watched please go through that now let's run the web service now let's click on valid user button so the service is running it hits the breakpoint we have passed username has a Ravent and the password has pass so the service is working as expected so it gives the alert has hello Ravent now let's write a code as the web service takes multiple parameters as we have passed authentication user let's pass the string value also has a message let's comment this code and let's return has user so I'm returning the user to the client application and let's make one more property has a message let's pass this message to the property let's build the application so build succeeded now let's create the application client application has which takes the message has the parameter we need to pass here now let's run the application now let's run web service let's pass username and the password click on valid user so look at this we have got password has pass and username has Ravent and message us this is test service so we got the input request now the user has three properties username 
password and the message message is assigned with this is a test service this string value let's continue and look at this in client application we got the object object has the alert message this is because we didn't configured the javascript to, to take the value from the web service let's run the javascript in a debugging mode so this is the javascript we have written in the client application so on success alert and this is the request let's click on valid user once again so it hits the breakpoint so it hits the breakpoint let's click on continue so it comes the request with username and password and the message let's click on continue it comes to the on success let's look at the response what the service is returning so it is returning the message this is test service and the password has pass and the username has revanth so the service is returning the response when we when we look at the alert message is it is taking the whole object it is not displaying the single object let's hard code the javascript in the client application let's stop debugging let's write on success we need to display the message now let's run the client application let's click on valid user run this in a debugging mode on success click on continue so it hits the breakpoint in the browser so it returns message as this is test service let's click on continue so we got the response has this is test service so in this way we can pass multiple parameters to the web service request and we can get the response has multiple parameters thanks for watching for references and resources visit these links and subscribe to my youtube channel for email alerts thank you